Welcome to problems like 23 plus something equals 71. In this lesson I'm going to uh, practice jumping up by a tidy number and then uh, jumping back a little bit to get to the number that I'm, I'm wanting to get to. Let's start with this question here. Um, 18 plus something equals 64. Well, I'm going to start by drawing my number line <clears throat> and on it I'm going to write down the amount that I've got, maybe $18, and the amount that I want to get to, maybe I'm saving for something worth $64. Um, first of all, I need to think to myself, what tidy number can I jump that will take me just past 64? And I'm going to start at 18. Well, I know that if I jump up, jump off 50, it's going to take me just past 64. It's going to take me to 68. The great thing about jumping up a tidy number is that you can see a tidy number is made up of just tens and no ones. So when I jump up from this number, I know that the number of ones that I've got is going to be exactly the same. Now you can see I jumped up 50 to get to 68, which unfortunately was a little bit too far. So now I need to fix that up by jumping back a little bit to get to 64. So that means I need to jump back 4. So now I record my jumps. I jumped up 50, and then I had to jump backwards 4. So in, in total, I jumped 46. So the answer to this question is 18 plus 46 is 64. Let's try another one. Uh, 43 plus some amount gives me 71. Just like last time, draw my number line. I'm going to put 43 on it and the amount that I need to get. Maybe I'm talking about counters this time. I've got 43 counters and I want to have 71 counters. So I'm thinking about how many more counters I need to get. Well, just like last time, I want to jump up a tidy number which will take me just past 71. And I know that if I jump up, 30, that will take me to 73. And just like last time, you can see that because this is a tidy number, it's made up of three tens and no ones, so that when I add it from this number, my ones, here I add three ones, stay exactly the same, three ones. Okay, so I've got to 73, which is a little bit too far, so now I need to jump back a little bit. I need to back, jump back from 73 to 71, which means I'm going backwards or subtracting 2. So I record what I did. I did a jump forward of 30 and a jump backwards of 2, which means in total I jumped up 28. So 43 plus 28 equals 71. Let's have a look at uh, one last one. Um, 34 plus something equals 52. Again, I draw my number line. The amount that I've got here, 34 counters, and I want to have 52. So I put that on here. Again, I think of what tidy number could I jump up, which is going to take me just past 34. And I think to myself, well, if I add 20, that would take me to 54. Notice up here I could have chosen numbers like 30 or 40, but they would have taken me a long way past 52. So 20 is the best choice because it takes me just past 52. Okay, just like last time, 52 is just a little, sorry, 54 is just a little bit too far, so I need to fix that up. I need to jump back 2. So I record what I did. I did my big tidy number jump up of 20, then I had to jump back a little bit jump back 2, which means in total I jumped up 18. So 34 plus 18 equals 52. So with this lesson, just remember there's uh, two parts to it. Your first part, you're going to jump up a tidy number, which takes you just a little bit past the number you're trying to get to. And then the second part, you subtract whatever you need to to get back to that number. So in here I had to subtract 2, 
and then some of my other examples well, here I had to subtract 2 and here I had to subtract 4 and then put those together and that'll get you your answer hopefully you've found this lesson helpful if you need some more help check out teachertools.co.nz